Alright, what's going on guys? Today we are doing a, another, a, well, my first Minecraft video. Um, we will be doing a how to build a, just a regular kind of house. It's not very modern, but at the same time it is. It won't look as modern on the uh, outside, but it'll look pretty decent on the in. Uh... It's actually going to be a tree house, so we'll have to be planting some saplings in case we don't have any trees, but otherwise, uh, I will be, for now, uploading on the Hydro Clan, um, I do have my own personal channel, but I do not upload on that at all, so I would link that in the description, but I won't. Because I don't actually do anything on it. So yeah. Um, if you do enjoy today's video, please like, subscribe, and turn that um, bell icon on. And uh, I hope you enjoy the video. So the main block, even though we're not loaded in, the main blocks you are going to need are brick. Oh, I'm also using mods, by the way, so... I have a texture pack and uh, some furniture, so you may not have all these, but I'll try to keep it mostly vanilla for the outside, but for some of the furniture, uh, vanilla Minecraft does not have that, but otherwise, it's pretty straightforward. Alright. So, we are, you are going to need to start out with some bricks and uh, a couple of jungle trees. Because we're going to need some saplings to um, grow some trees. Yeah. So that'll be simple. And then it's going to be a two-floor treehouse with... Um, a couple of balconies, and a, um, like, it's going to try to m make a look like a rope bridge. So you don't really need to mine the terrain, so what you're going to need is some jungle saplings to start out. Hold up. I need to find all these things. Alright, so we got... Jungle sapling, and then we need ourselves some bone meal just to get um, ourselves a tree going. So that's what we'll worry about for now. We're gonna oh, we lag okay. So I'll put one of our jungle saplings right here, and you're gonna want to do a four tall let's see all right we're gonna need a flat land maybe all right let's find ourselves a good terrain oh i didn't let me do that all right so let's kind of break some of this see if a sapling will go right here There we go. Alright, so we got ourselves our first jungle tree. Now we're going to find another open spot about right here. Clear off an area. Those are some funky looking sheep. Alright, let's see if we can get our tree. Okay, that doesn't want to grow. Let's try it again. Alright, so now we've got two trees. Now these ones are a little far apart, but that is alright. So what you're going to start off with are some slabs. I'm going to do um, dark oak slabs because I think they look really nice. And you're going to pick the tree that you want your main entrance to be on. And then 
you're going to make a staircase going all the way up. So this process is very time consuming, shall I say, but it does look pretty nice in the end. So just bear with me because I'm new to this and I don't quite know how to do time lapse, but at least you can see it step by step by step in a very tedious, slow way. If that's your style. Otherwise, um, I really don't have much else to say, um, except for check out all of our other videos on the Hydro Clan, and we mainly do Minecraft and Fortnite, so you can look forward to new content. And we don't have a very strict upload schedule, so um, you'll just get a notification if you have that bell icon on uh, whenever we upload a new video. Alright, so now we've got our little spiral staircase. We are going to make a platform, kind of extending out a little bit, so we got a little bit of a ledge. And then that way we can place some blocks on top. And then it'll kind of be this little ledge going all the way around, uh, trying, kind of hugging the tree. And, oh, there's a floating island up there, apparently. Um, so then we'll connect it right there. Looks like we can walk still. And we still got quite a bit of tree, because we're actually going to add a second level, which will also end up connecting to our tree. Alright, so we're not going to actually connect um, it quite like this. We're going to extend out this way. And make sure you guys pause the video at any time. That way you actually know what's going on. I don't usually do it very step by step on the exact block placement. I kind of just go with it. So this isn't a very strict uh, build, it's just kind of a general way on how to do it. So now that we got this platform, we're going to grab some fence, and I'm going to use a, um, I'm going to use a jungle fence to just kind of contrast with the dark oak of this little platform. And then this is kind of going to be an open area where you can look out. And then what's going to be cool is in this little leaf area, we're going to incorporate a bedroom. And then a little staircase to go up onto this leaf pallet. And have like a little barbecue area. So that'll be cool. So now we got that fence built. We are going to grab some dark oak stairs as well. So we can get a little roof, almost. Well, it is actually a roof. But, alright, alright, alright. We do like this. About maybe three or four blocks above the, uh, oops. I don't know, not, not, not want to do that. Um, three or four blocks looks like I'm doing five or four. I can't tell because my FOV is very high. Uh, just connect, doing a trim along the entire fence post, like so. That way we have a little cover and then we're going to connect them. I, I want to make sure that we're actually doing this correct. That. And this and if it's a little off center, that's all right. We don't really care here. All right. And then we can always trim that a little branch out right there, like so. And then we are going to connect from this fence post up to this.
Alright. Okay, sorry. Let's check out something, and then we're gonna do it again right here. Let's check. I don't know why this isn't connecting, so let's actually grab some full blocks. That way they fully connect. We're actually going to do full blocks along each, the side because then we are going to add s some stairs just to give it another little shape. And then we do that. It's that. That, that. So now we're just going to fill in this roof and finish up the pillars. Oh, I fell. That's alright. Boom. Alright, so now that that's all filled up, we'll uh, finish connecting these. We're going to do one right here. Like that. And then we are going to do another right there. And then we're actually going to skip right there. Actually, no, we'll go back to that right here. Oh, my portioning is off. We'll fix this really quick. And then we're going to do the same thing. Right up. There's a forest fire over there. I did not do that, I promise. Alright, so that's going to be like our stabilizing. I uh, not that's uh, my brother and my dad screaming. Um, Alright, so now we are going to work on this second floor. But first, we're actually not going to continue the spiral. We're actually going to have a little compartment up here that kind of leads up onto there with some ladders. So let's grab that. Now, I'm going to do a stone ladder because that's something apparently I have. So I'm going to use that, but in vanilla you'll just use a regular ladder. And then kind of get rid of a couple of these leaves. That way we can not have them being too crammed. And what we're going to do is this one. So we're actually going to expand out with the stairs on each bit like so. So we're gonna give it a stair trim and then we'll see what we do with that. Alright like so. Alright so now we've got a trim on that side, we're going to swing over here and do the same thing. I tried to make it as symmetrical as possible. Uh, that way we can just give it not um, a crappy kind of disfigured look. Alright, so now we've got it looking like this, which doesn't look bad. But we could also do some more to it. So now what we're going to do is do another fencing, like so. Except we're not going to add the those beams again. Because this one's just going to be kind of an outlook area almost. With a, um, just a couple of like tables and some chairs. 
because this is this is uh like the bedroom area. That's gonna be where like the kitchen is and then the living room. If that makes any sense. If it does. <laughs> Alright, that looks like we have this. There we go. Okay, so now we've got it looking like this. We're now going to get I just realized this is I don't know, hold on. Cause this is a outdated version. Or this is old so they don't have like chains and stuff. I'm I don't even know if they have lanterns. Alright, they do. Alright, but we're not gonna do that. So we're gonna grab some torches. I would use lanterns because a torch in this looks a lot different. We are gonna do it like this. And this. So I would actually do lanterns in vanilla Minecraft. I'm just using a torch to look like that. To give it a little lighting. Then we're gonna put one in there. One right here. Then one right there. So now we've got a little bit of lighting uh, throughout this. And then we are going to start making the connection to this. But first, we need to destroy the leaves that are right here because they're blocking where we want to connect. This is very hairy tree. Giving him a haircut. Alright. So this one is going to be a really big uh, area with not a lot of leaves and it's going to have just one big platform that will have all the... Actually it will be two really big platforms with all the essentials. So it'll have a kitchen, um, with a bathroom, and then a little living area. Alright. So now you're going to this front area, because this is going to curve a lot. So you're going to come to this front. And then you're going to make, it's going to be a three, three block wide little path made out of slabs. And then you're going to want to constantly, um, keep it turning so that way it actually connects. Um, and then you're going to have it just connect really quick oh, um hold on all right um my brother was being weird uh hydro uh little pengu is my brother so that's cool and then this isn't going to have fences cuz it's just such a weird shape that I don't, I think it'll be really hard to. And it's gonna come down to a two block wide point at the end, which is fine. So now we're going to put some torches right there, just along here. Give it some lighting, it'll be a lot nicer in the daytime. And then what you're going to do is about right here is you're going to continue the kind of the spiral staircase we made earlier and uh, wrap it up just a couple more blocks because this then otherwise it'd be extremely low to the ground. Alright, that's probably high enough. And then you're going to 
Oh, maybe. And I'm sort of a single layer. That way we don't hit our heads. And then we're going to make sure we leave just a gap. And then just connect it. Alright, so we're... This one's going to be quite massive. So we're going to bring it out by about seven blocks. And then we're going to fill that in. But we're also going to make it look kind of circular, almost. I'm not good with circles. Like so. No. Alright, now we have it out like this. We're going to bring it like that. And just tuck it into the little section over here. And we're also going to make that a bit circular. Same over here. We're going to wrap it like that. That way it gives it a more uh, kind of round structure, like so, and then we'll go like this, just to give it a little bit more pop, alright, so now we've kind of got this misshaped little circle platform area, so we're just going to fill this up with our slabs, And then make sure we don't fill up this little gap. Uh, like so. And then this is going to be the shorter end of the spectrum, kind of. Actually, we'll change that really quick. Just pop it out about three more blocks, like that. And then we will make roof in a little bit, just not quite yet. Um, alright, so this one's going to be a legit enclosed structure. Okay. We need to increase the blocks up by one. Because my measurements are off, and now if we place something, it'll look really weird. It'll be floating. Alright, so let's change that. Okay, so once we do this, we are going to use just regular um, dark oak uh, plank blocks, not the slabs. And we are going to build it just up by one block so we can add windows. And this is going to be a very like open area. So. We're going to change that just a little bit. Alright. Now what we're going to do is just do a little trim along here. That way we can do our glass. And then we are going to do the uh, windows on the uh, house. And that way... Uh, you can just see out through all the nature, and that way you're just not crammed in the house. And we aren't going to really have a way to get out, um, but we will just have that spiral case. That's really the only way to get down, I would say. Uh, well, first you have to cross the bridge and then go down.
that spiral staircase, but to get down onto the platform. There's really no other way. Unless you want to jump off. But you have windows, so you really can't. And then, what we're, the, really the final step of this build, besides just windowing it and adding roofing, is we're going to add a little balcony out on the other bit down there. No, or sorry, this bit. That way you can just get fresh air with just like a little table or something. I don't know why this uh, trim is taking so long. But we can do that. And then, yeah, and then I will uh, actually make a part two of this. That way this video is not really long of how to uh, make furniture, but you are more than well with this mod, or you're more than welcome to use just vanilla and uh, furnish it yourself, but I'll be making a part two using this mod, um, how to just add some nice furniture. So now we're going to grab some, not glass, we're going to grab glass, which I actually use a certain one. I'm going to use brown stained glass because it just adds this nice trim, like so. And then we're going to build it up two blocks, uh, so it'll be two block tall windows. And then the roof is going to be cool. It's all going to be glass. So it'll kind of stretch up. Uh, to me, just the roof full glass so you can kind of see what time of day it is without having just open uh, skies for in case like rain and stuff. Whereas like those ones got leaves and a roof to protect it. And then, alright, so now for the roof, you're going to just fill it up like so. And you're going to keep the leaves because it just adds a nice treehouse vibe to it. It's like that stem in the middle. Or in the part two, you'll see what we actually do for the stem. Um, yeah, it's going to be nice for the furniture. We're actually going to change it just like that. Make sure there's nothing holes. Oh, I broke something. Where it is? There it is. Alright, so now we've got this little dome area. Now, what we're going to do is under here, you're going to do a trim all along the house, and you'll see why. Because right now, when you look at it, it just looks like this flat thing. But once you look over here, now it looks a little bit more circular. So we're going to do that twice. So it'll be like this. And you, we're going to fill it in, but I might not incorporate that in the video. Or actually, you don't have to fill it in because it you're not really looking at the bottom. So now it looks slightly more circular. Well now with full blocks, you're just going to do one more little uh, trim along that just to give it that nice uh, circular vibe. And then, let's see, it's almost done. Alright. So now, it's pretty much a circle, kind of. It doesn't look ugly. Actually, we will end up filling that in, because you can kind of see that it's a little agape from just looking at it. And then, I don't... We're still going to leave it like the uh, hole so you can... Oh, building error. That way you can still walk up. 
glad this. That's fun. All right. Now we're just gonna finish that up, and then we'll just work on the quick balcony with that one's gonna be non glass, just so you get air kind of in this house. All right. We don't want it like this. Ugh. And you gotta make sure that you don't cover up the stairs. That way they're not wa um that way you're still able to go up them and if you cover them you're just not gonna be able to. So I think we can just do this. Alright, so let's make sure we can walk up this. Nope, we can still walk up, it's fine. Alright, so the balcony is going to be on this really long bit. You're going to do like this. You're going to make it a little... Oh, oops, I did not mean to do that. So it's going to be... Actually, we're going to find a different spot for it. So it's going to be right here. So you're going to make sure it's a two block for window. And then you're going to make sure it's a wood frame like so. Or, you actually, you don't have to. But in part two, we actually need it to look like this for some things we're going to do. And then we're actually going to place these two stairs with blocks and then we're going to do slabs all around here and then from there we're going to do that and like so like that and then you're going to close it all like that and then do a trim like that that way, it's kind of like this dip. So you can't actually place stuff correctly on this. This is mainly for a lookout area. Uh, just to give a nice little view of the view. Actually, what we can do is let's grab a water bucket. Like so. And then if we do it like this, is there, okay. So we're not going to want to do it like that. Alright, so that's fine. We're just going to replace it with full blocks. And then, boom, 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 boom. Now you can place whatever you feel like on this, now that it's uh, level. That dip was a good idea, but we would have to change some of the house to make that work. Alright, so now you got this, and then for our little finaling touches, just grab a torch, and then we'll put some... On uh, here, right there, and then we'll do the two right there. We'll do a couple in here. That way we don't have the world's most gloomy home ever. All right. So now that we've got this, you've really got your little treehouse estate. No, not estate. Um, just living area. And we're actually going to do one final thing. We're going to beef out this bridge just a tad bit more. Because I really don't like that. Um, you can't place fence. So I'm just going to beef it out just a little bit more. 
You know, what? we'll do it like this. We'll just make it so you're restricted to just a single block of spacing. And it's just a little bit more organized if we do it like that, too. And then we'll just connect like this. And then I, I think we can still move. Alright, so now we've got it like this. Now we can put our torches back up. Oh. Now, that is our finish. Oh, I lied. We have one last thing besides connecting that to make it look fine. We are going to add just a little something using our water buckets. We are going to add over here a waterfall. So it looks pretty. Alright. Uh thank you guys for watching this. Um I hope you liked it and come back for part two where we will do our furniture. Yay! Alright, thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe and turn that bell so you get notifications whenever we upload. Part 2 will be up tomorrow. Bye!